Hey guys, welcome back to Oak Abode. You guys have been requesting more chicken videos for a while, so I'm here today to give you the five ways that our chickens pay for themselves. To be honest, I'm kind of running a little low on more chicken related video ideas. So if there's any chicken videos that you guys wanna see, please leave a comment below with what you wanna see. But that being said, like I said, today I'm gonna to go over the five ways that our chickens pay for themselves and how we make that happen. Before we get into the video, today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh recipes are so delicious. They deliver fresh quality produce from the farm to your door in less than a week. So you can savor summer flavors right from home. The foolproof step-by-step -step recipes mean a joyful cooking experience and a stress-free summer. Plus, HelloFresh cuts back on time spent in the kitchen with meals ready in usually around 30 minutes or less. They are the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all packaging is recyclable and our personal favorite. So much of it is compostable too, so it goes right in our tumbling composter. HelloFresh cuts down on food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping. These days, financially wasting food from the grocery store is really not an option. I personally love HelloFresh because they take the guesswork out of dinner. I can actually enjoy cooking because I don't have to think and plan. And of course they taste so good and help me learn new recipes that I never otherwise probably would have tried. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code Okabode16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Once again, go to HelloFresh.com and use code Okabode16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. So the first way that our chickens pay for themselves is obviously by laying us eggs to eat every day. Eggs are a generally really affordable form of protein and very sustainable as well. So chickens reproduce pretty easily on their own relative to other forms of protein. So right now we do use primarily egg laying birds. So we get roughly an egg every other day from our chickens. You can go through our other videos as far as more chicken FAQs, how many eggs they lay, that kind of thing. But as a general rule of thumb, that's kind of the guideline I go by is roughly an egg every other day, depending on the breed and depending on the age of the chicken. These days, everything is going up in price, eggs included. So we are saving more and more on the eggs that we collect from our chickens. Obviously feed costs are going up as well, but we don't pay a whole lot for feed ourselves because we free range our chickens and we feed them a lot of kitchen scraps. So we really don't buy all that much feed. In the future, we are actually planning to grow our own feed with amaranth and sorghum primarily. So we'll keep you guys posted on how that goes. But again, one of the biggest ways that our chickens pay for themselves is by laying us eggs, which we don't have to buy from the store. Not only are they cheaper than factory farm eggs, which are pretty relatively expensive these days anyway, but they are way cheaper than buying equal quality eggs, farm fresh eggs, or pasture raised eggs from the grocery store by far. Although our chickens do save us a lot of money by providing us with eggs every day, actually what I think they save us more money in is compost. And I talked about this in some of my other videos, but we compost our chicken bedding. We use chicken fertilizer, chicken compost in order to grow our own vegetables and tend to our garden. Interestingly, I think that might actually be where our chickens make us the most money is by providing us with so much beautiful, rich, healthy compost. Our plants absolutely love it. I'll show you guys a picture of our strawberries. We have two beds of strawberries. One is with kind of general compost. It's like donkey compost and um, some leaves and grass clippings, that kind of thing, food scraps. And then there's one that's just chicken bedding and our strawberries with just the chicken bedding are doing so, so much better. So I swear there is nothing like chicken fertilizer for a garden. So because we grow our own food in our gardens, we save a lot of money that way. I was just, because we're gonna start a massive, massive garden on our 20 acres next year, I was just looking into kind of what it would cost to just have a ton of compost delivered. And I was, it was thousands of dollars just for the amount of compost that I wanted for the garden that I'm planting. So instead, we're going to use the chicken compost. We're also going to use some rotational chicken pasture techniques to prep the soil instead of having to move it ourselves. The chickens can just lay down the fertilizer right where we're going to be planting. Yes, it has to compost a little bit first. But long story short, our chickens more than pay for themselves probably just with the compost and fertilizer that they provide us, which then turn into beautiful, healthy fruits and vegetables. Even better, when we have excess of those fruits and vegetables, those go back to the chickens too. So it is a beautiful system that all kind of feeds on itself. Number three, another way that chickens can pay for themselves is in labor. So chickens can be really good workers if you 
direct them correctly. They can also be really good destroyers if you don't direct them. But chickens can be fantastic for weed control. So even though that's not necessarily something we would do, we wouldn't necessarily hire somebody to pull weeds for us, we're gonna be using pasturing techniques on our new property to take care of the weeds. And one of those situations is going to be chickens. We're gonna use other animals as well, but chickens can take care of weeds on a large scale or a small scale. Simultaneously while doing so, they do provide more organic matter back into the earth. So it makes it more likely that native species will be able to compete with those invasive species and tamp it down more in the future. So even though I wouldn't necessarily hire somebody to come weed certain spots, I would be weeding it myself either in the form of cutting it down or pulling it. Um, obviously chickens will eat not just the weeds. If you just put them out in your garden, they'll eat everything. But even when we lived in the suburbs, one of my favorite things to do was after the first few frosts, I would let the chickens out into the garden and let them just totally decimate the garden, bring it to the ground, and then I had very little work to do. So if you consider your time worth money, which it really is, right? We all have kind of an hourly rate. I was able to use those hours working on other things while my chickens tore down the garden and helped fertilize the garden for next year. So chickens can earn more of their living in the form of labor for weed control. But another service that they can provide is they can provide pest control. So probably on not quite as big a scale as the weed control or the garden cleanup, but our chickens do provide some form of pest control. It's not perfect because again, you can't necessarily just let them live in your garden or they will take all your garden crops from you before you can. But for example, we do not have nearly the Japanese beetle problem that we used to have, and that's because I believe our chickens were taking them off. So our chickens wouldn't eat the roses or a lot of the flowers that the Japanese beetles enjoyed. Right, zinnia at the time too, a lot of cosmos, although, I'm not sure the Japanese beetles were on the cosmos, but the zinnias, the roses, our chickens would just go right through the rose garden and pluck those Japanese beetles right off, which is really nice because if you know anything about Japanese beetles, supposedly crushing them can actually attract more. So it becomes this like catch 22 of how do you take care of them without um, <laughs> attracting more to your garden. Those two years that we kept chickens and roses, we had almost zero Japanese beetles. And on the local gardening forums, people were talking all about how bad they were. So they can provide provide some form of pest control. You just gotta be careful kind of where you allow them to roam. Finally, the last way that chickens can pay for themselves, kind of pay you back, is in the form of meat and or broth. We don't talk a lot about butchering on our channel. That's not because we're against it. It's just because we haven't done it yet, so we don't have a lot of experience to offer there. When I first started out with chickens, I always tell people, it's okay if you don't want to eat them. You don't have to want to eat them. You live your life the way you want to. I'm gonna live my life the way I want to. And when I got chickens, I told my husband, been, I'm not eating these chickens. I see them as pets and they're gonna be pets. And that's what it was. My biggest thing is that I want every single life to be used for a purpose. And uh, just because you're buying female chicks doesn't mean that the male chicks are living a happy life somewhere. I can tell you right now, they're not. To me, this whole thing is a journey. It's a learning experience. It's not, you can't expect everyone to understand everything, to process everything, to be perfect at everything right when you start. Just do what you can at the beginning what you feel comfortable with at the beginning and we're all learning and growing from there. All that to say, that's another way obviously that chickens can pay you back, especially if you are hatching and raising your own chicks like we are hoping to do in the future. So like I said, full disclosure, this is not something we have done yet, just probably something we're gonna consider in the future. And if you are looking for a way for chickens to pay for themselves a little bit more, something that is worth considering. I do have a couple other videos with kind of chicken cost breakdowns and um, more numbers there. But in making this video, I really wanted people to know that Chickens can pay for themselves. The first couple years for us, they really didn't because we were just sort of collecting the eggs and then paying a bunch in feed for them too. And obviously setting up the infrastructure is not cheap. But over time, we have really learned how to make them pay for themselves, not only financially, but also cut down on the amount of time that we spend doing other things. Some people spend a lot of time taking care of their chickens. We have an automatic chicken door. We have self-composting bedding. We really do very little actual time care. I linked all my favorite chicken products for you in the description if you want to see a lot of the things that cut down on the amount of time we spend taking care of them too. But all that to say, they do save us money and I believe they save us time now too, especially in the form of helping with our garden. Speaking of gardening, I actually just did a video all about how our garden pays for itself too. So kind of the money saving gardening tips that I have that are kind of along the lines of the money saving chicken tips. So if that sounds interesting to you, I will link the video in the description. As always, I would love to hear from you. So how do you 
make your chickens pay for themselves? What are your favorite ways to have your chickens pay off? Could be direct monetary, kind of like I was talking about, but also how do they increase your quality of life? You know, um, just having really good eggs to eat in the morning that are super nutritious is a major benefit, a major quality of life increaser. I know a lot of people, kind of myself included, enjoy their companionship or chicken therapy. <laughs> they can be very calming. So please leave a comment below with your favorite ways that chickens kind of pay you back as well. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I linked all that info in the description. If you're not already following us on Instagram, our Instagram handle is oak underscore abode. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe if you'd like to join us again in the future. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.